Hello everybody, welcome back to Greenwood Girl Cards. My name is Jill and I'm so happy you're joining me today. Today is the third day of Sneaky Peaks for the My Creative Time 134th edition release. It's all about bees and butterflies. And if you've been following along on all the sneak peeks, then you've already seen the gorgeous six by six paper pad for this release. Um, I'm flipping through it again just because, oh my goodness, I love this paper pad. It just turned out so, so cute. And uh, I love that it has all these wood grain papers in it. She's got text. She's got a little butterfly paper. She's got lemons and daisies. I love this one. This is a honeycomb paper made out of stripes. Um, and then she has this cute all over bee print. Um, and that one is absolutely adorable. Plus she has a really cute butterfly print in a pink color. So just a wonderful paper pad for this Bees and Butterflies release. And today we are showcasing the Chunky Jar Dies. We, um, I had shared some projects with uh, Emma's uh, Mason Jar Dies from several years back and uh, they are retired and a lot of you had asked her to bring jars back out again. So this is her new jar die set and then she also did a label set a jar label set and stamps to go with it. So I'm gonna go through these with you guys. Um, and just for those of you that are wondering the sizes, I'm gonna try and um, measure them on camera here. So let me get to the inch side. And uh, I'm gonna just hold uh, the die up to the, the inches for you. And let's do it at the widest point. So at the widest point, this one is two and a quarter inches. Okay, it's two and a quarter inches wide, and then the length of it from the top of the die to the bottom is two inches. Okay, and this is just such a sweet little um, jam jar die set. You can take this and um, use a pattern paper to make fabric for the die. You can do the lid if you want, and it fits perfectly on there like that. Um, and then you can also use this little butterfly embellishment die, and this will imprint into the front of your jar a little strawberry, and I will show you what it looks like on one of the jars in a minute. Um, so this is a, an impression die, okay? So I just love that, and uh, so fun to make little strawberry jam mason jars. And um, then we have this die, and we were going for um, just something a little bit different. So here's this jar, and this one, the length of this one, I'm gonna, it's hard to do this on camera, but Let's see if I can give you the length. The length is three inches from top to bottom, and the width of this one is two inches. Okay, so it's it's three inches by two inches, and I love this one. It, it cuts some grooves into the paper and makes this beautiful shaped jar. You can put the lid onto the jar like so. Let me set the ruler down over here. Um, so you can put the, the lid on, and then she also made some little ties that you can do here. And then if you remember in the first jar set, um, she also made these handles. And we improved the handles by making them a little bit wider this time. Last time they were very, very thin. And sometimes it was hard to get them out of the die. So we improved it by just widening that a little bit. And so you can put the handle also on your jars when you make them. And it also works for the smaller one here. So there you go. And uh, they are just so cute to play with. I've been having so much fun with this set. And then the other thing that Emma did was she created a little tiny jar to use as a tag or just to use when you're making smaller projects. So I just love that she added this. I've used it as tags on the projects I'm gonna show you. So that is the Chunky Jar Dies um, set. And then we have the Jar Label Dies and Stamps. And let me go through the stamps really quick. We have You Fill Me With Happiness, Just a Note, Thank You, Homemade With Love, Just a Note in a Smaller Size, Made With Love in this size, and then we also have it in a bigger size. And then Thank You, um, she has a small thank you and a bigger thank you. Happy Birthday in two sizes. And uh, then she also has the Homemade With Love in the small and big size. And then the last one she has is Sending You a Big Squeeze, okay? So that is the label stamps and dies. And then the labels, um, there are so many fun labels in this set. So there are three different circle ones, and you saw on my B card that I used these two little circle circles on my B card that I showed during day one of Sneaky Peaks. And I will, let me see if I can grab it and just show you. 
Um, this is what they look like cut out. They have these sweet little ridges on them. So I hope you can see that the little ridges and I just love them. So I use those um, both sizes on my card. And uh, they also are great to create a round label for a jar. And what's neat, you guys, is these can be used to make your mason jar labels when you're making jelly in real life. <laughs> um, maybe making some Diana Markham strawberry freezer jam or something. So you can use these when you're doing that. And then she also did pint, mason, ball, and care, which are three types of mason jars plus the size of a jar. Um, and these, again, are embossing ones, similar to this circle one here. They emboss into your paper. So I'll show you what I did with that also on one of my projects. And then the other labels that she created um, are like this. And I love these little dotted ones here with a layering piece. And then she also did the same thing with the ovals. Okay, and then they each have a back layer. So just a beautiful, useful jar label set. And you can use it for so many different things. And uh, I think she just did a wonderful job on these. So that's all the products that I'm showcasing today um, for day uh, three, I think is what we're on. Day three of Sneaky Peaks for My Creative Times 134th edition release. So let me set this aside along with the gorgeous paper pad. Oh my gosh, I got to order another one. Um, and let's uh, show you the projects that I made. I'll show you the first thing that I did is I wanted to make a strawberry themed card using that beautiful new chunky jar with these indentations in it. And I did sort of bend the cardstock and um, use my uh, vintage photo distress ink to edge all the edges with brown ink. And uh, I took out the cake die from the new um, three by three card die from last month. She had a piece of cake with a strawberry on it. And I used that little strawberry die on this card um, to show that this is strawberry jam. And then you can see where I did that embossing piece on the front of the jar. So I hope you can see it. It's a red jar, so it might be a little bit harder to see than if I had done it on a white jar but um, it embosses that strawberry into the jar, and I love the way that looks. And, uh, and then I use the little jar in the background, you can see here as a tag, I use that little spoon, um, remember that she gave us, uh, Emma is carrying some um, charms this month, and I had shown you the charms the other day, and one of them were the little spoon charms. And so I tied one of the little spoon charms onto the jar with some twine, and then I tucked in a strawberry here also. And uh, so, and then the flower dies that you see, those are Emma's flower dies. And I have just been having so much fun with them this summer. Um, just layering all the pieces that you can get from them up to create these dimensional flowers. And I'm just adding some little enamel dots to the center. Um, I don't have any of those little dots that everybody buys because my local... Um, stores here don't carry them in the little jars for some reason. So I just bought some enamel dots um, and uh, in different sizes. And uh, I use those to put in the centers of these little flowers. But I love how cute these little flowers turn out. They're, look at how tiny this one is. It's just so cute and it's two layers. So that's her flower die set. I just adore it. I love this um, flower that kind of has these openings in it too. And I layered a different flower on top of it. So you can get a lot of different looks with the flower dies. These papers are from her Christmas paper pad. If you remember um, the, the gingerbread paper pad that she did that had um, gingham and gingers, a lot of ginger things in it. So I used a piece of her red gingham from that Christmas paper pad. And then this was just a scrap I had in my stash. And then in the background, I did put some hard embossed um, cardstock behind. Okay, and I carried that circle over to the back of the card and added another flower to the back, okay, to decorate the whole card. And then this one says, you fill me with happiness, which is one of the sentiments. And then inside it says, happy birthday. And I added just a little um, yellow flower and a, a little um, flag into the inside. So that is just an adorable little card using that chunky jar die. And you can see the, how cute the handle looks on the jar. So that's one of the projects. And then I have one more card that I made, and this one uses both of the jars. Um, and you can see how I use the dotted label that says made with love from the stamp set. 
I did um, a jar that has fabric on it this time, as well as the little bows and a, and a flower from the flower dies again. And I, um, I put the little lid to the side and I filled up the jar with strawberries as if the person had taken the handled jar into their garden and picked all their berries, which is what I just did the other day. <laughs> and I thought it would be cute next to a pint of honey. And uh, so I added a little bee charm and the honey um, comb charms to this pint jar. And you can see how I embossed the word pint in there. And then I just took my white gel pen to outline the words so you could see it. And uh, I used um, some gingham papers from one of her other paper pads um, to add the little gingham toppers to my jars. And then this paper is in the current paper pad, the Bees and Butterflies one. And uh, I love this one. It has the little bee pathways on it in yellow. I don't know if you can really see them unless you have the paper right in front of you, but it's subtle and beautiful. And then you can see I made more of these little two-dimensional flowers um, and I kind of prop up the little pieces as I make them. And uh, I just tucked three different flowers around the card. And it's nice because you can kind of just um, fold these pieces up so they're very three-dimensional. I love that little flower set. And, uh, and then on the inside, I just added another little um, banner wave and I used her XOXO border dies to make my liner. So just an adorable little card. I haven't decorated the back of this one yet either. You can see that I tucked the lid in underneath there. And uh, I just think these turned out so, so cute. So I hope that you guys are enjoying all of the sneak peeks. Be sure to go by Emma's channel, My Creative Time, Mo Creations, Melissa's channel, um, uh, Suzanne, who's a, a creative muse, and then Shabby Pink Christine, um, Shabby Pink House Christine's channel, as well as um, MJ Carroll, her channel, Melissa, um, because they all will be putting out um, their videos on Friday for the release for sure. And in the meantime, everybody's posting things to Instagram. So make sure you go to Instagram to see everything as well as the blog. The designers that do the blog posts are incredible. I always am inspired by them. I can't wait to go and see everything that they have done for this release. So we've got bees, we've got butterflies, and uh, so much to just entice you with this month and uh, I hope that you are enjoying all the sneak peeks of uh, butterflies and bees and mason jars and just fun things. And uh, we will be back for the final day of sneak peeks tomorrow. And I'm so excited to show you what we have to share then. Bye now.